Good lip kisses. We have a special guest today. His name is Sean. I'm sorry, what was that again? I said, we are live with Christian Goodnight Kisses with a special Good guest today. Kisses. And his name is Sean. Hi, Sean. Hi, boys and girls. Well, hello, Christian. <laughs> so, so nice of you inviting me to your house today. <laughs> you provide me with this ball of yarn. Yeah. And I am actually making a scarf for my nana. No, I thought we started this for you because Kelly started making it. Yes, it is for me. <laughs> if you've never done this before, it is actually quite entertaining. <laughs> You're very entertaining. Yeah, yeah, relaxing. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it was stress free. You've really gotten the knack of it. Once you got that first row and a half done, I haven't really had to do anything. Well, I was taught by a great book that I got on Good Knit Kisses. Really? <laughs> I was like, I'm <laughs> All right, then it'll be. Oh my be gosh. So, he, so I was teaching his wife, for y'all who joining us, I was teaching his wife, Kelly. This is Sean Kelly. And Kelly got. Most up to here done. I think Sean's done about almost six inches or something. Because she's like, do you want to do you want to check this out? Or do you want to see if you can do it? And, of course, he can because he's, you know. Super Sean. Yeah. Super Sean. <laughs> Super Sean. <laughs> <laughs> you do the Mary Catherine Gallagher thing. All of you know, Mary. Mary <laughs> I had to do it. It's funny. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're like really trucking along. He's like going faster and faster. Well, I'm trying to stay in control. <laughs> <laughs> Is it new for you? <laughs> yeah. Because I have, like, I think it's a little bulky. Yeah, it is bulky. Yeah. It's a bulky yarn. It is a super bulky yarn. See, look, see, super bulky. Did I really call it out right? Yeah, it's super. It's super bulky number six yarn. Yeah. See, I have this, so he's working with the um, loops and threads loops boucle yarn, and we're just working with a brand, just one ball. So like so far, this one ball, and I think it's seven stitches wide, and. Um, yeah, so Kelly started it, and we, like, yeah, she did, what, 18 inches or something, and he's just trucking along. Oh, it started off as, as his scarf she was making for him, and now he's he's working part of it. So I think when you wear it, you're going to be, be like, this was a, oh, I'm gonna this was a, it. yeah, you're going to brag about it. People are going to say, what you get that nice? It was a, a marriage of, of I'm gonna say, yeah, stitches. <laughs> Based on information that I learned on Good Knit Kisses. <laughs> on Good Knit Kisses. You learned it right here straight from me. That's correct. That was correct. <laughs> it, was, it was live instruction. Was live instruction. <laughs> I know. So let's so, show them. So we're just actually doing like a two, um, two by one ribbing. So we just got two knits, a purl, and then we repeated two knits and a purl, and then just finished with the two. And then on the back, this is the reverse here. So it looks like that on the reverse. So it's kind of cute. So yeah, so it's just a, a, a two plus two repeat. So, so then you add like fringes in? Yeah, or three, I'm sorry, a three plus two repeat. Um, yeah, you can put fringe at the bottom um, or like I was talking to you about like finishing it like this bolero, like how I made the, oh, sorry, the, um, so the ending normally looks like this on um, when you finish it, but I had done this technique that I was showing you earlier. You could go back and finish the end here like that, but you could, if you wanted to, um, connect the whole thing and make an infini infinity scarf or like a cowl. So if he wanted it to just be like just a circle around his neck and not be really long, he could, we could connect it. So like he could actually Ooh. pull this around. Like, do you like like a neck scarf? No, Have you ever I, used I, one of those? Um, no. no. I, I like, like <laughs> the long ones. Where I you like the out. long, okay? Yeah, that, those ones kind of. Yeah. That, that's that's more of like an upper scale scarf that are not to, to my manliness. <laughs> it's like metrosexual. Yes. It, yeah. I, I see them all. The that's a word. That's a yeah, thing. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like anybody can wear it. You don't have to be a thing or not a thing. Well, Sean's been so metro well he does love the Metroplex. No, but like you can take this, Sean, and 
if you wanted to make it a circle, like men wear them in a circle too, a cowl or whatever, but you can take these live loops here and insert them in between these rows here and actually connect them and finish them off like with this little, see this chain edge here? It'll, it, it'll do that here. Anyway, so it's kind of cool. So anyway, I'm going to flip the screen and say hi to people. Let's see. Hey. So this is me and my raspy voice. So if you haven't joined me before on Goodnight Kisses, that the weird voice is me tonight. Um, or if you have before and you're like, who's talking? Um, who's that man behind the camera? <laughs> so clearly I have still have this rough voice. Um, it's been, what, two weeks since this voice is owned by me. <laughs> um, well, cause I had like the flu for like a week and then I had this like cough that won't quit. And then anyway, so I thought you guys would enjoy. Um, so Shauna Kelly are friends of ours. They used to be our neighbors like 16 years ago and now they're moving back and they're looking for houses today. And so like, we're like hanging out at our house late tonight. And, um, they're so cute. I'm so glad. I'm like thrilled that they're like, working on this because I was like Kelly she's like oh I couldn't do the knitting I'm like yes you could you're gonna you're gonna do this so anyway thank you for the well wishes y'all I appreciate it thank you so much uh I'll flip the camera and show you how fast he's gotten how far he's gotten so hold on let me see all right here we go so yeah so like Kelly well I think you guys have well not quite half of where she was but look how far he's gone he probably was about here because he's not really moving it towards him. He just keeps moving his body closer to me. <laughs> I was like, I was concerned. He was like tweaking his back. <coughs> I'm like, are you comfortable? <laughs> oh, they're calling you speed knitter. I am. I've been nicknamed. <laughs> <laughs> they were all like laughing at you earlier. Right, so. People were laughing, saying, wow. Like. And fast and awesome and nice and good teacher. Thanks. She's a great teacher. <laughs> Aw, yes. speed knitter. <laughs> I am going to speed. No, but like, it was it so, Kelly, what did you think about learning with this kind of yarn? Like, because like, what did you, what do you feel about needles before this? What did you think about like knitting before? Not going to happen. <laughs> Not going to happen. Like, yeah, like your honest opinion on like. I have yeah, but you're making the stitches like you've made knit stitches and purl stitches. Yeah, That's really impressive. basic knitting 101. Like if you can knit a stitch, you can knit anything. I'm well, needles are needles are, are you really? Scary. Yeah. Cuz this is easy. They're so good. They're so good. Mm -hmm. oh, let's see, we got a comment here. Oh, let's see. Uh Kathy says, "I was in Walmart tonight looking at yarn and this dad and daughter were looking and the girl really wanted to buy this pink yarn. I hear her dad say, I'm not sure if you're old enough to learn yet. Oh, well, I've seen four-year-olds learn. I mean, if you want to learn, you will. Like my kids at four, no, they didn't want to learn. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter your age. If you want to learn, then learn. I have 70-year-olds um, write me on YouTube and they're like, I never learned until now and I'm so glad I started, you know, and it's like, it's so good. I mean, because you're only preventing you from it. And Sean, what did you say after you did several rows that you felt what? Relaxed. Relaxed. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's mind boggling. Yeah. I mean, it's really great for your mental health and like. Yeah. And I can give a plug for Good Night Kisses with a book. Good, <laughs> good yeah, but you put the knit. Oh, it is knit. good night, sorry, but, sorry. but, but yeah, you're knitting, uh, so. Yes. <laughs> what does the book do? What does the book do? It's, it's just this book he's referring to. Well, I have my I have my new workbook. Well, <laughs> if you can teach a forty five year old to knit in less than dun dun dun, dun forty five, yeah, in less than ten seconds. Is that what you said? Yeah, I think it was like ten seconds. Yeah, you caught on really fast. You said, this loop goes there. This loop goes there. You know? Yeah, and you're making it. It makes a V stitch. Yeah. And I am gonna look sexy. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> as long as Kelly agrees, yes. Yes, I, think I can't. Like I, I, I can't agree with that. I mean, my I, husband's right here. I will, <laughs> I will walk through with my uh, with my my peacoat. 
He won't say, where did you get that coat? You're going to walk with your what coat? My pea coat. Pea coat. His pea coat? Yeah, the one he was wearing last night, night with his... Sweats. <laughs> oh, I'm like, is this urine? Like, pea yeah, coat? Like, doesn't work for me. <laughs> like, when, you call it a, when you call it a when you call it pea coat, I'm like, what? Are you out of fashion? Oh, is that a thing that's yeah, a fashion? Like an yeah. Oh, why would they call it that? That's, what, that, that's in the Navy, that's what they... Oh, well, wow. I'm, I'm sorry I'm, if I'm offending somebody. I was like, what is it, a urine coat? <laughs> there is that musical god Urine Town. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Big hello from Australia. Hello, Leanne. The Lion says, I never tried that yarn. Absolutely. Kathy says, I jumped in. I was like, no. She needs to try loom knitting. It's so easy. Oh, that's awesome. Kathy says, this is what I told him. I told my five-year-old can loom knit. Yeah, totally. Aw, oh, thank you, Be Lion. So can we, Appreciate it. Can we have, like, um, with all your fans, can we have, like, races on Sunday night? What? So oh, can, wait a minute. Wait. So, oh. see, see who can knit the fastest? Yeah, can, no then kidding. We, then we can have a, a riding race? Yeah, uh, absolute Kathy says, um, absolutely Kathy says, he is your next Spikes model for Good Nick Kisses. He's my next model. Are you, you're going to be the model? Yeah, what do we need? You know what, he, you know what, he is moving to town, so next time I have manly men stuff that we need models for. That's a good thing. If Colt shaved his beard, I'd totally make him a model. Yeah, <laughs> If, yeah. if, actually, <laughs> if I leave him the way he is, he would be perfect if I made a bunch of weirdo, like, crochet or knit pants in crazy colors and yeah. took pictures because those are, like, the most hysterical. And he's got, like, this massive no, manly I beard. Just have him make a, uh, beard. Well, he already has the beard, though. A beard holder? Oh. A beard holder. <laughs> a beard cover. Spokes model. Oh, spokes model, she says. Spokes model. Yeah. I don't know why I read that ca wrong. You can know, hello, fellow beard people. All right, okay. Now, but you have to say good Nick kisses better. Good Nick kisses better. <laughs> <laughs> Bad spokes model. Bad spokes model. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll say. <laughs> I know. Hey, you should tell them about your fingernail polish. Oh, yeah. Is that legal? Is it legal? <laughs> no. Cross brands. Okay, cross brands. Because it's about custom coloring. Yes, yes. So if you are, if you like nail polish and you like want to make your own or you have that favorite party dress or if your daughter's getting married and she wants to match nail polish for her bridesmaid's dress, there's a way you can do that. If you can't find the exact color on the retail shelves or in off of your uh, any, any website, OPI, whatever. So um, friends of mine came up with an idea to take from your mobile phone. We have an app that you can find in the app store. It's called Halo Color. And you can take a picture of anything and touch that picture color. And you can make your own custom nail polish shipped to your house. That is so and cool. Oh, and name it. You can name it. And you can name it. That is so want. cool. So it reminds yourself at your daughter's wedding, uh, graduation, and then we also do things for events too. We've had a lot of, a lot of people um, order lots of things for conferences with their name on it, so uh, with their with their colors. So you, we make that's so cool. Fifteen million colors. Uh, Fifteen your, million. Uh, it's a really cool app. So wow. You got a phone, you what's up. what's the app again? Halo H. Halo color. H A L O color. For Google and. She says, that is super cool. Yeah, try it out. It's so dangerous for my wallet if my kid finds out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Val Lydia says, that's awesome. I love nail polish. Be like, that's a nice idea. Yeah. yeah. And we also make a, uh, a nail polish remover. Oh, we just bought some nail polish remover. I should have waited. Yeah, I'll make it. I'll make it for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 
So anyway, there you go. You learned this on Good Nick Kisses. I know. <laughs> we learned about nail polish on Good Nick Kisses. Sessions with Sean. We need to, yeah, I need to get a custom chartreuse color of nail polish. Although I don't think I could do my favorite color on my nails. I think maybe you put it on my toes. Uh, no, I just need to have Sean on as a guest. So every Sunday night I will be on, or whatever you want me to request. If you ask me I, I, need, I need to do an episode. Would y'all like to learn? Would y'all like to see me try and teach Sean how to knit on needles? Yeah, because he'll be here from now on. <laughs> yeah. No, I need a, I need I no I need one where I teach Kelly how to knit on needles. Yeah, Sean, look, here's some needles for you. No, no. <laughs> Show him. Those for real. Those are for real. These are not needles. These are nails. <laughs> for the coffin. Uh, no, for you can. That's for extreme knitting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're no, awesome. No, you're really kidding. These aren't real. Right? These are just those are real. You can knit one of those big giant blankets on there. Oh, make me one this week. Make me one easy. this week, she says. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this week. We're going to set these right there. Do you know go, why they're at the it, Kelly, if you go back and lean them up, go, there's a, a loom hanging Kristen, there that's big, too. Yeah. So Kristen has them there, so if she doesn't like who comes to the door... They know that she yeah, those those my apocalyptic uh, uh, security system. <laughs> Look, <laughs> it's a large loom. It's like it's like a, a, if you took like um, t shirt, like strips of t shirt, you could make a, a a rug out of out of it with using that. So each one of these represents a stitch. So like every time you put one of the loops on here and then you go all the way down you come back it makes a whole row you know what this reminds me of what when you're at the carnival and you have to throw those little rings on there <laughs> i thought you were going to try and comb your hair with it did you want to take them into your, uh, your workshop and show them you all you don't have to show me that i mean i'll tell you though this this is like probably the coolest thing i mean you know i mean I mean, yeah, I think no polish is cool, but this is really cool because <laughs> Kathy, the it's Halo H A L O colors, colors. Oh, with an S, right? Yeah. No, oh, color yeah. without an S. Halo color yeah. on the app. Yeah, you know, yeah, we have website. You can also go to that dot dot com, right? Yes. Okay, Halo color dot com. H A L. -O. You know, what? I think I can type it in my comment. H A L O color. Halo yeah. color. Colors. <clears throat> um, hello from Boston. Hi, Stella. Um, <laughs> Y'all are vampire slaying needles. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Puppy the vampire slayer. The Halocolor.com. Halocolor.com. Okay, awesome. Y'all have to check that out. Halo. You can see that. Subscribe here. Another.com. <laughs> hey, is that what yeah. <laughs> So if you if you're just joining us, um, Halo Color, um, Sean was telling us that um, it's custom nail polish. You can use an app. You can pick any color. You choose it, and it um, lets you do like a custom uh, name for your color. You can do a special one for your wedding, or you know, you could do like that would be actually that would be a really sweet one for um, a 13 year old birthday party. Like, do her favorite color, and everybody gets one. Oh, really? Oh, wow. What do you do when you turn 15? Oh, a quinceanera? Yeah, they could be good gifts for quinceaneras. We've actually made polish for famous people. Oh. Did you make me some? Just kidding. <laughs> I'm not famous. Oh, there it is. Okay, Halo Color Lab. Oh, it's like. Oh, it keeps, there it goes. Okay. It's like you're showing all the, yes. no, it's just spider webs on the website. <laughs> look how fast, look, he's just trucking along here. Hey, so can you ask everyone if they want to see Sean again, they share the video? Yeah, if you want to share Sean, you got to share the video. I don't think they get, this is just live. This is live on Instagram. Oh, this is Instagram? 
Yeah, famous Christian. Yeah, right. <sighs> yeah. Hey, if they're coming from Australia, then you must know you from somewhere. Uh, yeah. <coughs> 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 oh my gosh, what? I'm like choking her. Um, what time is it in Australia? Is she still around? I'll just scroll back in to see who that was again. The new model. Oh, my six grandchildren, Leanne. Leanne, are you still up here? I think she's from Australia. My six grandchildren love the loops and threads. So cute. They all made something, do dolly blankets, scarves, and a shoulder wrap. That's so cool. Well, that's so good. Oh, Beeline from Canada. Hey. <laughs> yeah, see, look, he keeps getting closer and closer to me. You can see where the edge of the table is. <laughs> it's hilarious. Like, I don't care. I'm like. No, no, but I think it's funny that you keep I'm, doing I'm it. getting this done. Look at him. Oh, Kelly, Monday. he is now caught up to you. It's 3-11 Monday. What, no, what we need to do is have a competition between Sean and Kelly. Who can make the fastest scarf? Hey. He's crazy. kind of think Sean would win, actually. He's, it's really, you know what? You need... You need to knit when you go on your trips. I'm sure this will really go over well with the rest of the guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, like when you're at, you know, you're at your hotel and you got nothing to do and you're waiting on the next day and you're like, yep. you got meetings the next day and Make your wife a, a lot of people do that. Like, and like, it's something to do. And what if you get in a layover at the airport? I'm going to break out my needles and I'm going to knit. <laughs> That's right. Well, if you had this, you don't need any needles. Yeah, you know, I'm going to put down my coffee. And you know, did you know what you can use for scissors in a pinch if you don't have scissors? Uh, 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 box cutter? Nail clippers. But I, I don't want to take on the plane. You can't bring nail clippers on the plane? No. no you can't, really? No, no, no. Nail clippers are not allowed. Sorry. Are you have to check it? With the, uh, government. Well, anyway, you can buy, you can bring little four inch, uh, scissors though. Mm -hmm. The little four inch, isn't that funny? You can't bring nail clippers, but you can bring the little scissors. Isn't that silly? Yeah. Well, government was open when they made those weird rules anyway. <laughs> so, anyway, inching closer, speed dinner. Yeah, look how fast. I don't know. I don't have my measuring tape to see how wide that is, but my table. I think I think my table is forty-two inches long. So he's got he's got a good he's got a good over over two feet. No, Maybe 27 inches. Just to let you know, when, when I was kindly invited over here um, by my great friend, Christian, <laughs> I did not know I'd be inducted into a labor pool. <laughs> <laughs> do, I need to, to, scarf, do I need to turn the heat up so you can start sweating? <laughs> uh, I'm just waiting for those. Let me wipe your brow. <laughs> <Yeah>. Scissors. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was implying I put you in a sweatshop, <laughs> not surgery. But if you want to think of it as surgery, I guess you sure did. <laughs> yeah, well, if you were in a sweatshop, nobody would be wiping your brows. So this is a really nice place to work. This is a really nice place to work. I treat all my workers well. I wipe their brow while I sit and yeah. sip on my Starbucks peppermint tea. <laughs> oh yeah, we are buying him pizza. Who made those rules? <laughs> who made those rules? Hey, and it's on its way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, she says, so nice of you, Kristen. <laughs> she, no, sweatshops are not funny. I'm just being funny with Sean because we've known him forever. So, yeah. <laughs> I was showing them, whoops, um, I was showing them this bolero that I did, that I designed. Um, there's a video of my sister um, wearing it, but this is like, you put this on, um, it, through your arm, and it's actually like a short sleeve type of little jacket, you know, so it's like open in the back, and then, um, anyway, it's done with this loops yarn. Anyway, so that's, 
I was what I was showing Kelly and I was like, look, you can make like ribbing or you could do like stocking net and it goes really fast. Anyway, there's a video on that if you want to see how to make a bol the bolero jacket. They're all laughing at me. <laughs> yeah, if, if you want to make, uh, if you need a pair of leg warmers, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're going to do like the flash dance or whatever. Flash dance is involved here? This is great. <laughs> She's I think you can buy there you go. We're going to put him in a curly wig and make him, like, do the little... Oh, Richard Simmons. Uh, oh, Richard Simmons. Oh, my gosh. I saw the funniest video of Richard Simmons. He was, like, a um, quick guest star on, um, you know, that show they used to run. I don't think they still record it anymore. And Drew Carey did Whose Line Is It Anyway? Oh, yeah, yeah. And they put Richard Simmons on. You'll have to, like, it's more adult, adult topic because it kind of went in that direction, but it was hilarious. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It was so funny. All right, so anyway, yeah, here he goes. He just, this is how fast he's doing a row. We'll show him do one row. He's finishing this one. Turn the corner. Go, go, speed, go, 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 speed. <laughs> well, I am just speed taking racer. my time. Here he comes, here comes Speed Knitter. Speed Knitter. <laughs> Can I get a t-shirt? Can you get a t-shirt? How about a participation trophy? Ooh, you yeah, know. you'll get to wear it when you're done. You can order a t-shirt. No, you, you, you want me to model this when I'm done? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Speaking of, can you get a t-shirt? I believe you can order a good t-shirt. Oh, Melissa says he sounds like my husband back when I started knitting. Knit me leg warmers and a Speedo, babe. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Wait, Speedo? <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Speedo? Did it, did it shrink when it got wet or stretch out? <laughs> Is your drink spilled, spiked? Oh, no, my drink's not spiked. It's water. And just, um, yeah. We're just high on life. Cute bolero, love the color. Thank you. It's one of my favorite colors. No, the arm's made of cotton. It's not made of that other thing. No, what is it? What is no, it this one on? is uh, acrylic. Oh, acrylic? Yeah, it's 30. That's 82% acrylic. Oh, it's out of focus. 82% acrylic, 13% nylon, and something scratched out percent polyester. <laughs> yeah, the arm's available from where? Uh, this is Michael's. It's um, their Loops and Threads line. And it's called Loops. I call it Loops Boucle, but they said it's Boucle is just because that's the French version of Loops. But Boucle is also a style of of yarn. And so it's like a knit tube. Yeah, it's really soft. And then they stitch, pre-stitch the loops together. There are other um, Loops-type yarn on the market right now. Most of them are chenille type, so it's like a center thread with um, fuzzy yarn on the outside of it. And it's like called a blanket yarn a lot of times. Anyway, and then this thread connects them. It's kind of hard to see in the lighter color, but like in the darker color, you can see this little thread holding it together. And so if you want to open a loop, you can just clip it, clip between with scissors. Or if you're done, you clip between the two loops and then you finish it off. So anyway, um, but you can use the chenille type. There's several different, I think there's at least four different loop products out there that are chenille type. However, this is the only one that I know has this knit tube look to it. It has that boucle loop and then it has this color changing to it. So anyway, they're on clearance at Michael's, Belion says half price. Oh, that's awesome. I think they retail in the States for seven ninety nine. So I think that's right. And you're saying that they're half off of that? So that's cool. That's good to know. Look, he's getting into the lighter color now. I don't know. I may I may need to I think uh, I need to see how long they said how many balls is needed for this um this pattern that's in the back. I just made up the pattern that he's doing now. It's, so it's, if you want to do the pattern that he's working on, 
you, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's actually eight stitches wide. So it's two knits, one purl, two knits, one purl, and then two knits. And so the back has a cool reverse effect. Um, let's see. Okay, so the pattern that's on the loops and threads thing here, they're saying it takes three of the three balls of the the yarn in aubergine and then one oh okay, yeah. So that that's something else. Anyway, so three balls. Three balls to do the thing. And how many loops did it do? Count out fourteen loops. So this this scarf that they did on the package here is doing 14 loops wide, and we're doing eight, so we're about half. So I'm assuming this would take a ball and a half. How long does it need to be? And as long as you want it. Can I, can I ask a silly question? What? No, there's no silly questions. If you wanted to blend colors, how do you do that? You just you blend two yarns together, or do you... If you I wanted to that? make stripes, or... Yeah. Um, well, I mean, when, well, when you say blend, I mean, like this is, this yarn is already, like they've already made a color blending for you, but you could change colors. You could cut it and then I could bring in another, um, another color here and start a new row with the next color and just pu start pulling the loops through. And I could even stop it at the end of that row and then start the row back with this too. Like if I just wanted to do a little bitty stripe or if you want to do three or four rows, whatever. What if you take two yarns just You can't, in this one, you can't really take two yarns and um, like twist them together because it doesn't really work very well like that. So um, when a bunch of knitters get together, they just talk about knots? <laughs> no, actually crochet is a series of knots and this is knitting, which is different. I They're know. loops. That's another thing Knitters are loopy about. and crochets are not, and crocheters are naughty. Really? <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> are Eli says, I like your pattern. Thank you so much. <clears throat> um, yeah, what? She says, yep, that's what I said. No public appearances with you. What? Okay, I forgot what we were talking about then. Um, <laughs> I do need to get another ball out, though. But So once you finish that, then what I do is I add on the other ball. But I kind of was showing Kelly earlier, and actually, if you're, just, if you're joining me and you've seen me work on this before, if well, if you haven't, first of all, um, I have a video with... Um, with this yarn um, on the Michaels website with their yarn. And then I also have it on my YouTube channel. And uh, so it's on, it's on Michaels website with the yarn plus on my channel. And I go through real fast, like all the different kind of things you can do on it and you can do so much more, but then I actually have a full pattern with the Bolero and then I have a full pattern with a really pretty zigzag blanket. It has like these really cool things. And then we actually change colors on that and I'll show you a sample of it but um anyway <laughs> love that Kristen am I loopy <laughs> yeah totally you're totally loopy um <laughs> you are loopy yes that's a good thing right um so anyway but okay so you see how like it has this really stark transition between white right here and this is gray but see how they've got it blended like this is truly blended because it's dark down here and then it's slowly getting white it's kind of like an ombre yes it is this is the ombre stuff yes ombre. Yeah, ombre. Ombre. <laughs> ombre. <No. laughs> so Oh, uh, Lydia says, loopy and proud. Yeah, absolutely. I haven't seen that forever. Um, yeah, so this, I really like teaching people. I've noticed, like, actually adults and kids, this has been really nice to teach people how to see knit stitches, and it kind of takes the fear out of knitting. Because, I mean, look at him. He's You've done more than half of this scarf now. 
So sure. somebody asked me, so do you think, um, like, if I'm in an elevator and I'm sitting there and I look over and some lady's wearing a knit thing and I say, hey, that's like really nice pearl, <laughs> you think she's thinking I'm creepy? Maybe if she bought it at the store and she doesn't know what the heck you're talking about. <laughs> one thing I always do in elevators and I always embarrass but you know, if But you, if you noticed a woman's scarf in the elevator and said, I really like your scarf, it looks, I like the stitches, then she would say thank you. And then if she was a knitter or crocheter, she'd be like, do you knit or crochet? And she might actually strike up a conversation with you. And I would say... Why, yes, I do. And then she would say, yeah, you're creepy. I'd say, yes, and I learned why. Well, if you just said, I like your pearls, and she's not wearing any, <laughs> and then, yeah, she'd probably be like, what? <laughs> yeah, um, oh, at Kathy's totally right. And Kathy, her name on here is absolutely Kathy. Absolutely Kathy is absolutely right. She says... That is the bad thing about once you learn to knit, you will be staring at people's knits and be like, I could make that. <laughs> I have knit envy. Or you like take a picture of it to remember later, like, oh, I got to learn how to make that. Or how did they make that? <laughs> Whatever. We've been on vacation and I've gone through a store and I was like, ooh. And John's seen me like taking pictures of stuff. What stitch did you use? <laughs> I know. I'll be going okay. through Starbucks and I'll be... Talking to the lady and she'll come out and hand me my coffee and yeah and I'll be like oh yeah I like your nail polish. <laughs> it's really weird. You know. <laughs> it's creepy. It's creepy. Creepy. It's supposed to repeat those uh, cross brandings. <laughs> it looks so good though. So if oh, so the thing. Polish. Okay, wait. Hey, Kelly, can you flip the bo bottom here? Okay, so if you've seen me do this before, I started getting to this point earlier and I stopped myself. So this normally has a tail at the end, like you leave like a couple of loops and then you cut it out and you weave in the tail. But I figured out a way to weave it in as I went. Um, so like this is my beginning, my beginning row. Okay, this first part. And then the tail was over here. There was two loops and I didn't cut them open. And then I went and I connected and I went back in this direction to make the first row. And I got to the end of the first row and then... Um, I was like, oh, I wonder if I could grab this very first loop that was connected here and put it with my um, my loop and then put it behind. So I actually, like, this loop here is actually two loops. You can answer it. It's fine. This, this, this is actually two loops back here from the first one that was dangling. And then this next one here is actually two loops on this next row and I put them together and so they were kind of hanging out here live and waiting and then when I finished this row and I came back I just kept holding the two together and then pulled them through so once I knit them like you can't tell that some of these are actually a bulkier um, stitch the only way you can tell is right here where the end of this is this was the cut yarn and so I'll come back later on and maybe tack that part down. I could sew that in with a needle and thread or cut it close. I probably just sew it in just because it has a better look to it and then Sean wouldn't like be like, what is this little thing hanging there? But anyway, it looks really nice, right? But there's actually a technique, like you can see the loops, like it has this raw edge and if, if you know a lot about knitting, you're like, that's not normal. <laughs> but I have a technique that goes back and it matches the bind off that you'll do later. Like you bind this off. But if you look at my video on this Bolero jacket, you'll see that I actually go back to the beginning because this is actually where I started it. I actually go back and bring up loops through this raw edge here between the stitches. So between the rows and bring up the loops. And then I loop them over one by one. And you'll have to see the video, the Bolero shrug. Um, and how to make this look like um, when we end at the end here. So anyway, you'll have to check that out if you're curious about what I'm talking about. So thank you so much, Beeline. I appreciate it. Um, anyway, thanks for joining me all tonight. I appreciate it. We are um, we were waiting on our dinner, and it is now here. And Sean, I don't know if he's going to want to stop. Are you gonna Are you gonna keep going? 
Yeah, I think I'm just going to try to finish the thing now. <laughs> you know what? Is the cla- You're totally classic knitter now. You've gotten the bug. Because what we always say, just one more row. I, yeah, yeah. No, it's, this is really fun. Like, honey, are you coming to the kitchen? I mean, in my house. Say it, do it, do it. Just one more row. What? Honey, are you coming to the kitchen? No. One more row. One more row. I'll just one more row. <laughs> just one more row. Just one more row. It's totally what we do. One more round. Please. One more round. I only have 30 rows left. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, it's not a ball anymore. It's just... Yeah, I've never done this before. Yeah, he doesn't want to stop, y'all. They're like... And yeah, they're doing on One more row, one more row. Go, show. Speed Knitter, go. Don't get pizza grease on your scarf. That's a good question. <laughs> Talk about the safety of, of eating while knitting. Oh my gosh, yeah, no. Texting while driving, we don't do that. Yeah. We don't eat while knitting. We don't eat while knitting. You know, I've actually seen someone say they love Cheetos, but they can't eat it while they knit, of course, so they keep like chopsticks next to a Cheeto bag, and then they'll reach over and grab the Cheetos or the chips with their chopsticks and feed themselves. <laughs> Look, oh my gosh. No, it's near the knitting. Are you kidding me? Yeah. That's hilarious. I can't believe that was in there. That's my Christmas gift. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. I should show my audience. That's hilarious. That's the first time I've ever knitted. No, I sew all the time. I'm an ambassador. Too. So apparently my husband, he got a bear. What'd you do, get a barrel of Maker's Mark or something? Uh, I'll be in the mid-20s. Oh, he wants to do that. Anyway, Maker's Mark, he, I don't know, he's in some ambassador thing. They sent him this Christmas gift. He just opened it. They sent him socks. Look at that. Isn't that hilarious? They sent him socks. <laughs> That's hilarious. Have you ever heard of that? Actually, they sent me mistletoe. Oh, see, Sean's Sean is having so much fun. He's not even... T- He's not even paying attention. I'm talking about bourbon. And he's not paying attention. Yeah, because it's not beer. Oh, yeah. Beer? <laughs> he's still going, y'all. I was going to cut this off because I thought he was going to stop and go get pizza. I am thrilled that you're still going. This is awesome. Well, I mean, I mean how do you mean? Uh, like this, uh, y'all, like this is so I'm entertaining. This is absolutely entertaining. Maybe I'll be a celebrity. Yeah. Celebrity Sean. Getting stitchy with Sean. I like that. The whole t-shirt line, hats. Yeah. I can knit them. You are hooked. Literally. (laughs) You're getting loopy. See, Kelly was going really slow, but I was telling her a whole bunch of other things. She was like, well, what if you mess up? So I showed her how to fix it if, you're, if you mess up. Did you know that if you messed up way down, like six inches or so, that you wouldn't have to pull this out? You could just unhook one column. You could, like, pull the loops out of one column and fix that. He's not even hearing me. He is so in it. Look at, look at, look, look. He's so excited. What? I don't know, because I was saying stuff and you weren't reacting to me. I was oh, trying. Oh, no. I was telling you something. I was, I, was, uh, I was giving knitting advice, but you were so in it that I was like. Oh my gosh, I'm going to disturb the it's master weird. while he goes. You know, it's weird is like the, uh, the fluffiness. Yeah. The white. The white is fluffier. fluffier. Okay, so yeah. here's an interesting thing, Mr. Chemist. Yeah. So different yarns react like the, okay, the fiber reacts different to the different color of dye. In which you would obviously know. I mean, I'm stating something that's obvious to you, but that's why that one's fluffier because this one's actually more in its natural state 
and these have these have reacted to the dye, so they're a little bit more doused with all the their dye sites are filled, <laughs> right? Well, what I just noticed is when you get down to the fluffy white, <laughs> the loops are a little. Uh, are they harder to see? Yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. Maybe glasses. So harder um, to see, but they're also like they're just tactily harder to move and maneuver through, yeah. or. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I think it's my first time I've ever done this, so You're like a you're yeah, like a fun. rock star oh, first yeah. timer. Great. He's in the zone, B Lion says. He yeah. absolutely is. Yeah, it's almost like you're uh you know, you, you start it and you wanna see the you wanna see the finished product. Right. And you you don't wanna wait. Totally. It's like when you're binge watching a show. Oh my gosh, yes. Well, you, but okay. Now take this and combine that with a Netflix show that you have been wanting to watch all the shows. You can do both. I don't think I could. Really? Yeah, because I would have messed it up because watch the show. Yeah, but once your fingers get used to doing it a certain yeah, 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 way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, I mean, I'm not even, it's, it's, when I first started, I was consciously making the not the loops. And yeah. we're talking, yeah. like subconsciously making the knots, and then sometimes yeah. I realize, I'm like, when did I make that knot? Yeah. But also, like, so what I do is um, when I have to look at something a lot, I like playing something I've seen before, but I love, like, Friends. You know, I can, like, listen and half watch a season of Friends. I know what's happening. I'm enjoying myself. You know, I get to experience all the jokes and stuff again, but, you know, and I'll look up every once in a while, but I'll still get to sort of concentrate on this too. So depending upon the level of the thing that you're doing, the difficulty, you can do more other activities. Like you could go to one of your kids' games and do this in the stands or, you know, like sometimes I'll do that. Like actually this whole bolero scarf that I did, I did it all my daughter's uh, volleyball games. And I only took this to the volleyball games. But I had another project that I would look, I would Netflix, I would Stitch Flix too. I was stitching, doing other projects. Stitch Flix? Yeah, that's a thing. That's actually a good It's a good name for it. It is a good name. Or podcasts, or YouTube, that's what other people are saying. Yeah, he's in the zone, Kelly. He doesn't, he wants to see the end of it. I actually need to go fish out the other color because I'm going to need to add another ball to this. So we have to, have, we have to add another one for another? Well, another you tell me. Day. Well, you tell me, but I'm assuming uh, in the math in my head, this pattern here used three balls. Okay. So this, three well, hold on, K Sean, you, you know math. You're a smart guy. Maybe. So this is eight stitches wide, yes or no? Eight stitches wide. Okay, so I have. Uh, one, two, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's eight stitches. So yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, and it, okay, we've used one ball. This pattern here uses three balls and it's 14 stitches wide. So yours is just a little over, like, so if, if we had just seven stitches, it would be half the width, yeah? Right. So half the width would be one and a half balls. So I'm thinking I still need at least one and a half balls to do this. But I'll see what the length of this one is. So let me see what the length is. Uh, measurements. So this is 10 inches wide, and it's 70 inches long. So if we want your scarf to be 70 inches long, we probably need another half of a ball. That's a 
But if you want it shorter than that, if you want like maybe um, 60 inches or, well, actually, I don't know. We'd have to, I'd have to see how long we are now and how much further we have. But I didn't do all the math calculations before we started. I have another ball of this. I don't mind giving you another ball. I'm just saying I don't have it right here in front of me. Uh, it's in the other one. I'm going to be here to like four in the morning. No, you're not. Because you have only been doing this for how long? Uh, I, don't I don't know. 30 minutes? It's been 30 minutes. I don't know. I'm on my phone with recording you now. I can't see what time it is. Yeah. Well, you're on, you're in on, you're on Instagram live. Instagram has live? Yeah. You're live on Instagram right now. That's why we're able to talk to people right now. Got it. <laughs> well, who did you think? Did you think, did you think you were on YouTube live? I don't know what I, yeah. You didn't know where you were. I didn't know where I was. You could have been on Facebook Live. You could have been on Periscope. You could have been on... What's Periscope? Oh, gosh, yeah. That's like live Twitter. Like, I don't even know if they still have it. I think Periscope's still around. I just don't do it anymore. Kitty's laughing. Kitty Keller's is laughing. <laughs> he is the speed knitter. Yeah, nice and long. You guys, I can't do all the calculations. How, how long do you think we'll, we'll be able to get... If we if we keep using this, if we keep eight stitches wide, if train A was going, <laughs> so so this pattern is ten inches wide by seventy inches long, with three balls. We are doing eight stitches wide, and one ball. How long? <laughs> well, Sean. How, How long, long of a scarf will off. Sean get? <laughs> yeah. He's not stopping, y'all. I'm just going to keep it rolling. This is awesome. Well, here's the deal, Sean. Okay, so see all the white that's in here? You don't have as much gray on the other side of it. So your scarf, let's just say, for example, like this is this is like kind of a planning thing here. For example, if you put this around your neck and you stop this scarf wherever it just stops, like say this is only becomes four feet long or something, then your scarf will be really short, which if it's fine with you, it's fine with you. But if you stop where this will, this stops here and you only have this much yarn and gray, then your white will be offset. It won't be centered. Now, if we add more of the gray from another ball and kind of get it to close to where this color starts at this uh, so like it's the light color and then fading to the dark where it starts to get to the dark and we we start the ball there then you can actually make this scarf even to where when you you'll put this on you and the white will be at the very back of your neck and it'll be centered even oh, colored okay, yeah, yeah. kind of like this one the bolero that I keep going back to, see how we kind of centered the color? So look, I got this stripe in the middle. Right. So do you have to like count the number of loops? What? Well, yeah, this is, out? well, this is a, this isn't a design. It wasn't a happy accident. I designed this based upon what I knew about how the patterning was working and a sample that I started with. And I was like, okay, well, if I knit this long or I make it shorter here, then, then it'll become that way. So that's how this bolero got to be that link. So this little spine kind of right here actually falls in the center of someone's back, or at least how I did mine. And it should work relatively the same for somebody else. So anyway, knitting math. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Kathy. Exactly. She says, LOL. He's just realizing he's being videotaped. <laughs> I think he knew, but he didn't know. I thought he's a, kind of a I ham. Was a recording. Well, how did you think everybody was responding to you? Well, I was like saying all these weird names. I'm so into my loops. He was so into his loops. He didn't realize that all the crazy names I was naming. He thought I was. He thought I was crazy then, making up y'all's names. Well, I thought you like do a recording session, and then. Um, oh yeah, I have a staff of random people on standby. I don't know what those people are. <laughs>
Oh my gosh, you guys, he's hilarious. <laughs> Sean, like, I have focus on me now. He is, he is so funny. <laughs> he went lo loopy, what he has said. He was in the zone. This is so fun. I love watching him. He's like, he's this, this is not like him being funny or, because if, First, we were kind of being silly with it, right? And now he's like, he's like in the zone. So anyway, oh, Beeline says, we are here for Kristen. <laughs> She's in my little box. I just called on her and she came. So what it does, Sean, is when you go on Instagram live, if someone follows you, it notifies people like, hey, XYZ person is going live. Oh, okay. And then they can click on it. Um, yeah. <laughs> and if they saw it like 10 minutes ago and they're like, I wonder what she recorded. And they're like, okay, now I have time because I was in the bathroom or I was having a conversation or I was getting a glass of water. Then they're like, oh, I wonder what she was saying. If they go click on that I had a live video, it's, if it's still live, then they just pick up wherever I am right now. Now, but if they go later, if I save it to my story, then they can um, click on the story and they can watch the whole thing. But it's only available for 24 hours. Uh, okay. But I can yeah. save it and I could like re-upload it onto Instagram TV if it's less than 15 minutes. Or I can put it on Facebook Live. Or not Facebook Live, but I could upload it to Facebook if I wanted to or to YouTube. Yeah, anyway. It's actually really fun. Hey, Streamflow. Have a good night. I enjoyed your video. It's late here. Okay. Thanks for joining me, guys. Sorry, my voice is still really rough. Sundays with Sean, Kathy says. Sundays with Sean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's pretty fast, they said. He has to come by every Sunday. No, it is a really good idea. Actually, they're moving back to town. They've been gone forever, like 16 years. We used to be neighbors, but we knew each other before that. But we built our house next to them, and then he decided to get laid off, which he did not, obviously. But then he got a great job and left for Tennessee immediately. Mm -hmm. And then um, it's been like he's been in his own crazy whirlwind, like been moving all over the country to all these places now and now he's finally moving back and we get him back but he's not going to be next door so but that's okay maybe we'll maybe we'll find a place next door and kick yeah, him she, out to get, get me to get a trailer and put in her backyard but that ain't gonna work my husband is determined to live next door to Sean so yeah. <laughs> so and Kelly, like, I love Kelly. I miss them. I really wish that they were next door. They're really great neighbors and great people. So anyway, I'm going to flip the camera here in a second and um, and show y'all where he is. I'm kind of taking the focus off of him for a second. Um, yeah, we relieved the pressure. <laughs> oh, and Beeline. And then it disappears. She's talking about the video. Oh, hey, it's actually uh, running down the table on yeah. Oh, it's falling off the table. Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera now. Is when you're sitting here doing this and you're concentrating on every little loop. Yeah. Okay. Here it goes. You don't realize. It's off the table. There it is. It's dangling. I don't know how far. But yeah. You may have knit like four feet or something. If if I had all my stuff with me, um, yeah, I would do do more. Oh, interesting. This is the first time this has happened. I don't know how long I've been live, but like now there's a countdown at the top and it says one minute, 44 seconds remaining. And it's actually counting down. So apparently I can only go for so long. I don't even know how long I've been on. Oh, absolutely. Kathy says bromance. <laughs> so anyway, you guys have been a blast hanging out with us. This has been really fun. Um, I'll have to take a picture of his scarf after he's done and I really got to get, make him stop and like eat his food. It's like getting, I haven't eaten either, but this has been like food for my soul. <laughs> what do you think, Sean? You think you're going to keep doing this?
Like, I like think every Sunday night we'll do we'll do a we'll do a really good comedic session when I'm in yeah. full form. Yeah. Oh, and then and then we'll watch Walking Dead. Maybe. <laughs> I gotta catch up on Walking Dead. I have but a- you have your big knitting needles back there. You're already <laughs> those big apocalyptic needles in the back there. Yeah, I'd say those are vampire states. <laughs> Okay, Do you, before this, oh, it's got 30 seconds left. Right, Kathy? Oh, faster, dude. Countdown is I'm, on. I'm going. I'm going, Kathy. I promise. I wish I could sing. My, my throat is so bad. I'm like, four, three, two, one, earth below us, or whatever, drifting. <laughs> I can't even sing. Okay, we're running out of time, dude. All right, finishing my uh, the eighth loop on the... Third and a half foot third string. Third and a half foot string. What is what? I'm trying to get tech up from here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>